Let's talk about replication. Replication is a common topic when it comes to Cassandra's architecture. A replication factor must be specified whenever a database is defined. The replication factor specifies how many instances of the data there will be within a given database. Although one can be specified as a replication factor, it's common to specify two, three, or more, so that if a node goes down, there is at least one other replica of the data so that the data is not lost with the down node. Perhaps it goes without saying, you can have a different replication factor for your different databases. So you might have a database that is storing user clicks and you're using that to do recommendations. Maybe you're thinking, you know, if I don't pick up every click, it's okay. You know, if a no goes down and a few clicks get lost, no big deal. So you might just do a replication factor of one. Or another situation, maybe you're doing bank transactions and you're thinking, no, I cannot lose any of these. These are critical. So in that case, you're probably going to do a replication factor of, I would guess three, at least two, and possibly more. So it's really going to depend on your data and your applications for what replication factor you're going to specify for each of your databases. Just to illustrate this, if the replication factor for a database is three, then the negative seven, four, five, six data that we were looking at earlier will be written to three nodes. If one of those nodes were to go down, that's okay. We still have two replicas of the data. We still have two instances of the data, no problem. And even if two nodes were to go down, we're still good. We still have an instance of the data. This is replication. It's a topic that we will be working with hands-on as we go forward with the course.